Welcome to Genuine Corner guys. Today I am going to start a new video tutorial series on JDBC. It is called Java Database Connectivity. JDBC allows us to connect our Java program with a database management software. So as you might have known, a database is a special kind of software written specifically for data oriented operations like uh, insertion analysis manipulation etc when i started programming i developed a library software first and at that time i have used files instead of database for storing the information about books and members and issue book issue information and it was a very tedious task because i had to implement my own sorting mechanism my own file saving mechanism serialization etc etc so in order to make the uh, things faster in order to store data in a better fashion we can connect our java program to the database and jdbc will help us to uh, accomplish the task and there are many different database softwares available normally I use Derby for a uh, database but you might be familiar with MySQL because SQL is the most commonly used database and in this tutorial I'll be using MySQL as the database and we will use a, implement a connection between the database and uh, my uh, the java program and the mysql database and before that you will have to install mysql in your computer uh, i think you already have it, it, it installed and in case you don't you can download the latest version of mysql from here so i will post the link in uh, the description of this video so you can install it by either using this web installer or using this MSI offline installer. So that's the first thing we need. We have to install the database software, the MySQL software in our system. The next thing that we want is a connection, a module that can connect our Java application with the database. So this is a schematic diagram of JDBC and this is the thing that we are going to install. We are going to install MySQL server which is the bottommost position and this is our normal Java application. Using JDBC API and JDBC driver manager we can communicate from our Java application to the SQL server. In order to do so, we need a, we need a JDBC driver. Since there are a lot of different databases are available, we have to find a unique driver that is compatible for the particular database present in our system. So in this case, since we are using the MySQL database, we have to get a MySQL connector that connect our Java application with the MySQL database. So that is the MySQL connector bar J and the latest version is 5.1.40 and I will post the link to this description a uh, link to the I will post this link also in your description and that's it so first download these two files and I am going to install MySQL on my computer normally I do tut uh, tutorials in uh, Linux Mint and in this time I'm going for Windows because most of you will be running MySQL and I want to make things much more clear to you guys so uh, let us install the MySQL so I'm going to select install MySQL products and mine is in the latest version because uh, I downloaded this one a year back or something so I'm going to skip check for updates you might want to check uh, for the latest version so then next then there are different types of installation presets and I'm going for the developer default so I'm going to press next <clears throat> and all the dependencies are already installed in my system in case if one of the entries is not ticked in your system just press next the MySQL will uh, inst download and install these dependencies and let us press next and the following products will be installed on our computer. I think the connector, Java connector will also be installed during this installation. Uh, so you might uh, not need to download this connector budget because it is already included in the first setup. So let us execute this. This is gonna take a little time. So I'm gonna pause this video for a moment. And once installation gets complete, I'll be back. Now all the products 
is installed in my system and I'm going to press next. So MySQL Server initial configuration is going to be performed. So I'm going to press next. So this is the initial configuration. So I'm going to select the configuration type of developer equipment machine because mine is not a dedicated machine or server machine. I'm going to select this development machine, which is a default one. And this is the port number. Since there are 65,530 five ports in our computer we can use any port number in order to network with the connection because this port number is very important once we set it as 3306 we will be using this port number in our java program for connection so if you're using any other number make sure that you note the port number then i'm going to press next then mysql root password and i uh, i'm going to set it as root and again i am set it as root this username and password i mean this is the password right so that's okay then my SQL user account i'm going to add a new user so that user be a uh, genuine caller which will be gc then that is database admin there are lots of options i'm going to select it as database admin and my password is also set to root root the password is weak but it doesn't matter in my case then I'm going to press next. Then uh, this is the service name for MySQL, doesn't matter. So I'm going to press next. Then the <coughs> MySQL server is configuring. Now the second one is also completed. So let us press next and uh, start MySQL Workbench after setup. So the MySQL Workbench is a piece of software that is a front end of the real database. So this is a uh, graphical user interface that allows to insert or create or do any operation on the MySQL. So uh, I'm going to click on this local instance MySQL 5.6 and the user is root and my password was root. Save password in vault, then press OK. And I'm going to, so, so now I am in the database. Here I can create new database or do whatever I want. There are two different schemas. I think you're already familiar with these things. There is a test uh, and this is the database name test and inside that database there is no table. So that's it. And that's about the configuration of my MySQL in your Windows machine. And if you're using a Linux system, the <clears throat> configuration steps are almost same. You just have to follow the uh, installation instruction specific for your Linux distribution. So thanks for watching this video. I think this is the end of the first video. And from the next video, we'll start programming our Java application and we'll make a connection to the database server so thanks for watching like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos